Hence, even as we repeal 377A, we will uphold and safeguard the institution of marriage. Under the law, only marriages between one man and one woman are recognized in Singapore. Many national policies rely upon this definition of marriage, including public housing, education, adoption rules, advertising standards, film classification. The government has no intention of changing the definition of marriage, nor these policies. However, as the law stands, this definition of marriage can be challenged on constitutional grounds in the courts, just like Section 377A has been challenged. And this has indeed happened elsewhere. If one day such a challenge succeeds here, it could cause same-sex marriages to become recognised in Singapore. And this would happen not because Parliament passed any such law, but as the result of a court judgement. And then, even if the majority of MPs oppose same-sex marriage, Parliament may not be able simply to change the law to restore the status quo ante. Because to reverse the position, Parliament may have to amend the Constitution, and that would require a two-thirds majority. I do not think that for Singapore, the courts are the right forum to decide such issues. Judges interpret and apply the law. That's what they are trained and appointed to do, to interpret the law, what does the law say, to apply the law, what does it, how does it work in this instance. But judges and courts have neither the expertise nor the mandate to settle political questions or to rule on social norms and values. Because these are fundamentally not legal problems, but political issues. And this has been wisely acknowledged by our courts in their judgments dealing with such cases. But even so, those seeking change may still try to force the pace through litigation. This is, which is, in its nature, adversarial. It would highlight differences, inflame tensions, and polarise society. And I'm convinced this would be bad for Singapore. We will therefore protect the definition of marriage from being challenged constitutionally in the courts. The legal definition is contained in the Interpretation Act and the Women's Charter. We have to amend the Constitution to protect it, and we will do so. This will help us to repeal Section 377A in a controlled and carefully considered way. It will limit this change to what I believe most Singaporeans will accept, which is to decriminalise sexual relations between consenting men in private. But it will also keep what I believe most Singaporeans still want, and that is to retain the basic family structure of marriage between a man and a woman within which we have and raise our children. What we seek is a political accommodation, one that balances different legitimate views and aspirations among Singaporeans. For some, this will be too modest a step. For others, it will be a step taken only with great reluctance, even regret. But in a society where diverse groups have strongly held opposing views, everyone has to accept that no group can have things all their way. If one side pushes too hard, the other side will push back even harder. And in some Western societies, not few, this has resulted in culture wars, contempt for opposing views, and not just for their views, but for the opposing people. Cancel culture to browbeat and shut up opponents and bitter feuds splitting society into warring tribes. There are some signs of similar things starting to happen here too. I say, let us not go in this direction. 
All groups should exercise restraint because that's the only way we can move forward as one nation together. There's much more to be said on this difficult subject. I'm sure what I've said tonight will set off further reactions and discussions. And we'll have a full debate when we bring the legislation to Parliament. But tonight, I wanted to set out our broad approach on this issue. We have a stable and generally harmonious society, and we will work hard to keep things like this. I hope the new balance will enable Singapore to remain a tolerant and inclusive society for many years to come. <laughs>